Hi guys, Steph here. So, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to share a couple quick things. Um, I have a project share. I have, well, two project shares. I have an update on something. I have a little something that came in the mail. And then, um, also something I wanted to show to share. I'll scrap in Cupcake 11. Okay, so... First, the thing that came in the mail, let me grab it, I got a craft spinner, and this is from the scrapyard, and with shipping, I want to say it was $13 with shipping, and spins and I only have two of these which actually I think my aunt just picked up some more for me um as well as some more distress inks uh that she's gonna mail to me but I put some of my stickles in there for now but um I uh I'm really excited about that so I got that for 13 from uh Kari or Carrie on the scrapyard then i don't know if you guys remember but a little while back at um marshall's i had bought it's supposed to be like a jewelry organizer thing stand thing and i decided to do some stamps on it because i have so many clear stamps anymore that my basket is overflowing so I put some of them on here super fun so and I got that for like six bucks okay sorry guys I have like no room for anything but down here <laughs> then I tried out making a flower on my Big Shot with the one flower die I have so far. And it looks super shiny on here, but this is what I came up with. I'm not completely in love with it, so I have to keep playing with it, but that's it. It's really big. I want to try using just this smaller piece here and trying something. Then I have a card. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I keep moving you guys around. So I used um, Sweet Dreams Marcy. And this is it. And I paper pieced her dress. All the papers on here are from uh, Pink Paisley, Spring Jubilee, and I got this paper pad for free in um, a card magazine I bought at Barnes & Noble. So I paper pieced her dress with the Spring Jubilee, and then the rest I colored in with Copics. Uh, this is a spell, yeah, Spellbinders die. Then this is just, you know, a piece that I matted, another piece that I matted. This is also a die. Um, and then the stamp, I stamped, uh, it's a dollar stamp from Michael's, Believe in Your Dreams. And then I embossed it with um, aqua. I want to say it's aqua color. And then I went around the edges with um, like a light aqua ink and put two little buttons and I put some sheer light blue ribbon and a little spray that I got from Lacey Tracy 76 a little prima flower and this came in my craft sponge monthly box and then these flowers all came from Tracy as well thank you hon I love them so much so that's the front of the card, and the inside I did really simple. 
and it's just like that. I just used one of the pieces from Spring Jubilee, and then I put another Spellbinders die with the matte colored paper. Um, and this cardstock colored paper is from Colorback, I think I got it at Walmart forever ago. But, and just put that there for, you know, you to write in. So, pretty simple. I think she came out really cute. I'm getting better at coloring. And then, lastly, I think lastly, um, Cheryl, who is Scrapping Cupcake 11, had asked me um, a question on something I had asked her, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, on aqua colored dyes. I have this, hun. I don't know if you'd be interested in it. If so, I'll just stick it in your box, but it has dusk blue ocean, sea lavender, leaf bud, stem green, and wasabi, and they're Martha Stewart inks, so if you want, I'll put that in your box, let me know, um, I don't want to send you something you don't want, and then the other ones will just have to be a surprise, <laughs> but I'm having so much fun putting your box together, I know it was supposed to just be a card challenge, but you're such a sweetheart, and I know that you're just starting off craft, uh, you know, with getting supplies and scrapbooking and crafting. And you're doing a wonderful job. And um, you're just such a sweetheart. And I started uh, card making and scrapbooking probably like eight months to a year ago. And when I first started the videos, I had like next to nothing. And now I have so much. And... I want to share with you as well as you know all my YouTube friends so as much as I can I will so um keep scrapping girl and keep your videos coming we all love them and thanks everyone for watching and I think that's it <laughs> have a great weekend